Welcome to Arizona 412B, Density of Compacted Bituminous Mixtures, the Nuclear Method. Begin by unlocking the nuclear gauge transport box. Next, remove the standard block and set it onto the asphalt, concrete, or compacted aggregate. Then remove the nuclear gauge and place it on the standard block. Now, seat the nuclear gauge on the standard block and power on the device. After the nuclear gauge is powered on, obtain the standard counts from moisture and density. Move away at least 15 feet during this time. After obtaining your standard counts, it's time to start preparing the ground. Remove any loose or unattached materials. Next, you'll want to add not more than one pound of dry, fine sand, minus number 10 material, to the area to be tested. Smooth out the added sand to ensure an even distribution of material over the test area. Then, remove the excess material from the testing site. Once the testing site has been prepared, place the nuclear gauge on the site. Set your gauge to the backscatter mode. Press the start button to begin the test. Back away 15 feet and wait for the test to conclude. Once the test is concluded, place the nuclear gauge in a safe position and record your results. Next, grab your marking device. Draw an outline around the nuclear gauge. This will help you when you go to turn it 180 degrees and take readings from the other direction. Rotate your nuclear gauge 180 degrees so that it is facing the opposite direction. Set your nuclear gauge into backscatter mode once again and prepare to run the test. Once the test has started, be sure to move away at least 15 feet. Once the test is concluded, place the gauge in safe mode and record your results. Please be sure to read all of the materials available in your field technician certification workbook.